Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I take you to a very interesting puzzle. I received this puzzle from one of my friend. So it goes like this. Assuming that the sides of the outer square below is equal to 1. Side of this square is equal to 1. Calculate the area of both black and blue surfaces. The black surface is on the corners and the blue surfaces. So we have, we have asked to uh, calculate the uh, summation of all such black surfaces and all such blue surfaces. So initially it looks very complicated uh, image or shape. But if you, look, if you look closely, you will find a pattern in this image. What we see is there is a square and there is a circle inscribed inside that square. Then again there is a square which is inscribed un in the circle. And it goes on like that till infinity. So there is no end. It goes till infinity. And when you okay, suppose if you calculate the AV of this black surface on, on the first uh, iteration of a first uh, progression then you will add the black area from the second progression from third fourth sixth fifth sixth like that if you go on progressing further and further you can see that the area is reducing but still there is some addition of that area so if it is actually a mathematical term called as summation of infinite series so this is you can say this is the first term which is calculating this area second term calculating this third fourth likewise you are go you are going on adding multiple terms into uh, to find out the final value so <clears throat> let's start with the uh, problem given here so we have one by one square here and a circle inscribed inside the square uh, the circle is having blue area and the square is having black region. So what we see here is what is the black region? Black region is nothing but area of the square minus area of the circle. Correct? So it is very simple in this case because area of the square is 1 into 1. It is a square and uh, diameter of the circle is exactly equal to the uh, side of the square. Correct. So in this case, it is very easy to calculate so the black region. So black region is 1 minus pi by 4 1 square because 1 is area of the square and uh, pi by 4 1 square is area of the circle. Now I do the first uh, progression. Now I have to draw a circle a square inside this blue circle. So I have drawn a black square inside the blue circle now this blue circle is having diameter of equal to 1 now we don't know the side of the square which is inscribed in the circle how to find this look closely this square is made up of two triangles we can see we can divide this square into two triangles uh, I have taken this uh, top side triangle out what I see here is the hypotenuse of this triangle is nothing but the diameter of this circle so it is 1 and what we see here is it, because it is a square that these two sides are equal right now if we have two sides equal one angle 90 degree then this triangle is actually 45 90 45 degrees triangle so it is a standard triangle and we know the uh, how to find out the sides of this triangle uh, so when the hypotenuse is 1 in this case the side will be equal to 1 by over 2 so it is actually <coughs> 1 by over 2 times the hypotenuse hypotenuse value is 1 so side is 1 by over 2 now that we know the side of this square we will be able to calculate the area of the black region correct so area of the black region will be side this side into this side so 1 by over 2 into 1 by over 2 that is 1 by 2 will be the area of the square now again further go go on in creating a circle inside the square 
now in this case again the same way that we did earlier it will be the diameter of the circle is equal to side of the square and so we will be able to calculate the area so likewise we go on uh, calculating the area of black circle and blue circle and go on adding it if suppose we will we are given only one or two uh, such progressions it then it is very easy to add these two areas and give a value but how to do it for infinite number of times actually we, we can't calculate it on a calculator or uh, manually for certain number of uh, iterations uh, so i decided i will go through uh, i'll use uh, ms excel to calculate that so how i did that let's go. so here i'm using uh, microsoft excel to calculate the area of black region <coughs> Uh, so it goes like this in the first progression we know the side of the square was 1 so area of the square is 1 into 1 that is 1 and diameter of the circle is equal to the side of the square area of the circle can be calculated using this diameter and black shaded area is nothing but the area of uh, square minus area of the circle so it is the difference between of uh, C column C and column E so that is the area of black shaded region in the first progression the black region will be same uh, the, uh, the column G is actually cumulative uh, sum of all the black regions <coughs> so it is 0.214 in the uh, 15 in the first progression now we uh, make a circle inside and uh, we do the second progression so in the second progression if we go uh, we know that uh, for the second progression the side of the square would be equal to 1 by root 2 times diameter of the square diameter of the circle so it is 1 by root 2 times diameter of the circle so this square is inscribed in the diameter of uh, 1 diameter of size 1 then you go on doing calculating the area of the square area of the circle and area of the black region so likewise we do the progression in excel it is very easy to uh, drag the formulas and get the final value so if you can see here the area area of the shaded region black region is going on in uh, reducing in, in, in the first progression it was 0.215 then it became 0.107 0.054 so you can see the area of the black region is reducing and reducing right so it is plotted on this graph here you can see in the first progression it was 0.215 then 0.107 likewise it is going on reducing and so the cumulative sum of say these black regions is increasing here but the increment is very small here because the black region is very small for the further iterations for the progressions uh, so it goes uh, to a particular value and then stabilizes but still it this is not the final answer if we go to the 10th uh, progression i say the value is 0 0.429 so i will say again 0 0.2 428 429 it has stabilized but if I see the further digits here, 5th, 6th, 7th digit, see the value is still increasing. So still we have not reached the absolute solution for this problem. Why? Because it is an infinite series, the value will be very small, but still it will be adding some value into the, into the cumulative area. So we will not reach an end here, right? so i can uh, here i have done 20 iterations 20 progressions in 20th progression i can see here there is a change in the sixth uh, sixth seventh and eighth digit so this will this will go on increasing like that uh, even with a very minor minor uh, addition of the area but still it will be there Further, what we have seen in Excel sheet is nothing but this table. Uh, in the first progression, we have used uh, the same given values. Now, the side of the square I have written as S, a variable. 
now if it's if all other values are in terms of s then now so side of the square is s diameter of the square circle will be s the diameter inscribed in the square will have the same uh, value s area of the square will, will be s square area of the circle is pi by 4 s square and area of the black region is nothing but area of square minus area of circle in the second progression what happens is there is a square inscribed inside a circle so that is why the side of the square is 1.1 1 by about 2 times the diameter of the circle so it is 1 by about 2 s then you go on uh, creating diameter of the circle will be equal to diameter of the side of the square and you go on calculating the area of uh, square, circle and black region. Uh, in the third uh, progression what happens is uh, there is a square inscribed inside this diameter. So the side of the square is 1 by about 2 times diameter of this circle. So it is 1 by 2 s and you go on calculating the areas further. And what we have been asked is to calculate the area of black region. So area of black region, region will be a summation of all these quantities in the last column so summation of the black vision will be a b equal to summation of all these terms now we can use a mathematical formulation available already so it is called as summation of infinite series so a b is equal to summation of these uh, terms so we'll take out some common terms out of this uh, series uh, so here we can see first uh, first thing we can take out is s square then it becomes 1 minus pi by 4 plus 1 by 2 like that uh, then what we can see is there are some terms having pi by 4 in common so I take out pi by 4 from these uh, terms then what I see here is there is a series here 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus blah 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 then here also the same series 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus dot 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 now i take this series out from the bracket so what i see this series i have taken from the main bracket so what is remaining in the inside the bracket is 1 minus so i have taken this series out so here we have 1 and i have taken this series out so here we have minus pi by 4 so 1 minus pi by 4 so what we see here is we have a b equal to s square into uh, summation of this series into 1 minus pi by 4 now what we know is we have uh, a value for 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus blah 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 excluding 1 okay uh, so we know we, if we imagine these values on a say paper so I take a paper of equal side equal to 1 into 1 so I, I, I say the paper is a one unit paper uh, so, and I could fold that paper into half right so it is one half then I fold other side then it is 1 by 4 right it is the 1 by 4 side is half of this area so I fold it into 1 by 4 then again I divide it into uh, the rest of the region divide into 2 so I have 1 by 8 then rest of region uh, divided into 2, 1 by 16. Likewise, you go on folding this. So what you see is this total area is divided into these many terms. So you go on adding these terms, it will sum up to this area only. So this total area is 1. So what we see here is 1 is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by, 1 by 8 plus 1 by 16 1 plus 1 by 32 likewise. So we know that summation of 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 equals to 1. So we have got this value as 1 and 1 spare here from the previous uh, iteration. So 1 plus 1 into 1 minus pi by 4. So 2 s square into 1 minus pi by 4. So we have got this general equation for area of black region for our problem. In our case, s is equal to 1, side of the square is 1. So we, when, once we put s equal to 1 here, we get area of black region equal to 0.4292. And this is the almost the same value that we have uh, calculated in Excel sheet. 
so what you can see here in the 10th iteration we had reached a value of 1.428429 so this gives an explanation that uh, confirmation to our calculation uh, in excel sheet and uh, the actual value calculated in using mathematics um, but what we see here is uh, this pi is not having exactly a unique value so i have taken a pi value say uh, till the second or third digit so that is why i'm getting this much uh, value av of the black square but to be exact on this particular value i have to take multiple uh, digit points of uh, pi then i will get a uh, exact number so you can say this this number is not uh, uh, complete uh, it, it we, we can have multiple digits after this so uh, thank you uh, everyone uh, this is just to explain how mathematics uh, is interesting when you uh, put some graphical uh, representations to explain the uh, mathematical principles thank you very much